Okay, hi. So now we're going to be looking at how to uh, change some of the stuff in code. So uh, let's look at this right here. If I go to uh, viewcontroller.swift and I type in some code. So let's say, uh, I'm going to go back here. Let's say I want to change the uh, badge from right now. I've got an exclamation mark and I want to change it to something else. Okay, so if I go to viewcontroller.swift and I type in uh, tab bar item dot badge value and this takes a string so I give it I don't know anything <laughs> right anything uh, okay so if I give it this new value and I go ahead and debug you'll see right here that my new app has uh, the badge anything um, of course not a very useful um, badge now what I could do is this, um, if I if, if someone, if this is a real badge and I gave them like a notification, a three for example, and I would run this, it would say three. And then if I wanted to, um, and then if I wanted to get rid of it, of course, you probably want to put this in an if statement or another action or something, but as soon as they view that badge, uh, you could change that badge to a nil. So tab bar item dot, badge value and give it a value of nil a value of nil is nothing so if i do that and you won't see this because this goes really fast it actually will assign a value of three then it'll assign a value of nil you didn't see the value of three because it happened so quick so if you assign something a value of nil it'll just be nothing okay awesome so what's next uh the other thing i want to show you here is the um just uh, what happens when you add more than four or five view controllers. So I'm going to add a few more uh, view controllers here. Um, oh, and by the way, before I get carried away, I want to explain something. Uh, when we change the code, it only changed the code for the red uh, view controller, not the orange. And actually, there is a reason for that. Um, I'm going to be talking while I do this here. The reason for this is... Um, this view controller, the red one, let me go ahead and zoom in, the red view controller, if you go to identity, it's connected. It's it's using the view controller dot swift uh, class. So watch, if I go to view controller, view controller um, is of type UI view controller and view controller dot swift is a sub subclass of that. So if I go here, we're actually using view controller. We're using that Swift file. Orange is not. Uh, what I want to do, if I want to be able to change code, I want to create multiple classes, multiple files um, that are subclasses of the UI view controller. And to create that, it's really easy. You just go file, new file, and you create a new Cocoa Touch class. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. And you'd have a couple of them. And ideally, and it's good practice, you would have one class per view controller. So right now I have about five. I would have five different classes and I would go in that class to write the code. Of course, I'd have to connect it in here first to say that this view controller talks to this class. Anyways, let's get back to this. I'm going to go ahead and um, change this to, let's have a look. I'm going to change this to yellow and then I'm going to change this to green. And we're going to change this to blue. Okay. I have blue here. Let's go ahead and choose blue here. Okay, perfect. So if I go ahead and make this smaller, that's what this looks like. Of course, I only have connections to these two. So easy peasy, make a few more connections. And now, if I go ahead and build the app, it will show me the um, couple of items, right? So I've got red, I've got orange, I've got these items that I haven't named yet, okay? So let's go ahead and name them real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and say um, yellow, and I'm gonna say um, green, and I'm gonna say blue, Oh, these are badges. I've been doing it all wrong. Blue, get rid of the badge. 
green, get rid of the badge, and yellow. Let's get rid of that badge. Okay, and let's actually go back here and get rid of these badges that we did. Okay, fantastic. So if we run the app now, we should have our five view controllers. No, did that not update? It should have updated. Let's have a look. That should update. Let's go ahead and run the simulator again. There we go, updated yellow, green, and blue. Fantastic, no pictures yet. So let's go ahead and add some pictures, some images. So yellow, let's go down to the Y, and let's go down here and choose green, and we're gonna choose blue here. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and run the app one more time. And I've got my nice little app here with the pictures and it shows me the different colors. Okay, great. Now what happens if I add one more? What happens if I add one more view controller? Okay, let's go ahead and add this view controller. Let's make a connection here. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and build and let's see what this looks like. Okay. So I didn't add this more, it just added it for me. It shows me four and then it shows me the fifth as more. If I click on the fifth, it shows me that there's a blue one, which I could go to, and there's a new one that I just created called item. And this one's obviously empty. It already created these um, segues for me. It automatically created the more, and it automatically created this edit thing in which I could, let's say if this is more important, I could go ahead and switch it, and I could switch them around. Okay, and the reason being, and you've, you've seen this if you've used uh, an iPhone app that has multiple um, tabs. The reason for this is um, essentially there's not uh, so much space on the bottom. So if you have more than five, what's gonna happen is they'll be too squished if you put six or seven or eight. So iOS automatically does this for you, Xcode automatically does this for you, creates a more button, and it gives you all the different options right here in a table view. Okay, cool.